So I was thinking about this and I thought, it's so simple. Actually, there's a couple of things that we need to remember. I wrote down a couple of scriptures that I won't go deeply into, but we can go over to Psalm, if you want to. We can go over to Psalm 139. Why would we not? Verse 13 through 16, I believe it is. You're going to be familiar with this as soon as I read it. For you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. So this is Psalm 139, verse 13 through 16. You formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they were all written. The days fashioned for me when as yet none of them had occurred. And I'm also going to reference Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, which I did also write down. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, which once again, you will know this, even if you don't know it, you're going to... Oops. You're going to find out in a moment that you do know it. I, f- I feel nervous right now because I feel like I don't quite know exactly where Ephesians is. <laughs> you know when you're... Oh, there. I found it. I Like, I loosely know. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. For we are his workmanship created in Jesus Christ, uh, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. We live in so much fear, and I'm, I'm talking about as believers. I see so many people, and I've experienced, living in so much fear of getting it wrong, of getting what God is saying for us wrong. This, right? And, and especially high-performing women, hands up, yeah. women who put a lot of pressure on themselves. I, I know not just women, men as well, for sure. But we want to do well. We want to do it right. When we come to God, we're like, give me the surrender checklist so I can do it properly and get a gold star. Is this, is, is this surrendering right? Am I being holy? Am I being righteous? Am I surrendering correctly? So this is a human way, but I feel like it's a particular thing for high-performing, high-achieving type peoples. There's so much fear that I see like nearly daily with clients or friends or in my own self around, but I want to make sure I'm choosing what God would have me choose. I I have like I don't want to be rebellious. There's no issue there. Like my heart is for God. Genuinely, I'll walk away from whatever He says. But I'm not sure if He's saying that. I don't know if it's me or it's God. If He would just tell me what the exact new thing is, then I'll happily go yes, or I'll I'll like walk away from whatever I need to. But I don't know. I don't know. Here's the thing. The Bible tells us that we are His workmanship, and and we've touched on a couple of different scriptures that reference that this evening, and there's more as well. We are his workmanship, fearfully and wonderfully made. We are made to glorify him. We are made and formed by him that we might declare his praise. We're created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Here's the clue. The clue is in the verse. I only just saw this right now, by the way. I wasn't even, I never thought of this. We are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works. Created in Christ Jesus occurs... Once we accept Christ Jesus, then we are a new creation. That's what we were created for. But until such time as we choose it, we haven't been created anew. We're still waiting to be created anew. So once we are created in Christ Jesus, meaning once we've accepted salvation and once we're a child of God, we are now created in Christ Jesus. We also have the mind of Christ being evolved, like formed within us day in and day out. We receive a new heart and a new spirit and we are led by the spirit. 